Welcome to this second lecture regarding the details of what's in a business plan. In this case, we'll talk about what is in the company description. This is the high level perspective on what is what your business is. Now, not what your product is. You have time to talk about your product, but your what is the business? The business might be selling the product, but it's also marketing the product and it's manufacturing the product, distributing the product, all of that, right? So you want to capture not just describing what product you've created or what service you're doing. You want to talk about the business of making and selling that product or the business of organizing and delivering that service. This is a description of the business. That's what you're after. Let's talk about that in just a little bit more detail. Again, you want to give the entire overall description, what your business is, the name of your business, key managers in the business, maybe a little bit of background on what the history of the business is, a brief description perhaps of where it came from. This is not, you don't want to, to tell irrelevant information about, you know, um, family business and all that history and whatever, but you want to make sure that someone realizes where your business fits into the economy and also into uh, perhaps your business experience in history. You want to talk about your existing and near-term product lines, business lines, service lines. If you're making two, or two different products, you want to talk about each of those products a little bit. If they complement one another or there are two different ways of delivering the same value to customers, you talk about that there going into the value proposition, why customers would be interested. But remember, it's from the perspective of the business, not the perspective of the product. You don't go on and on about why customers are going to be better off because of this. You want to under, you want to explain why customers are going to be better off and therefore pay you. And because they're paying you, you're going to be able to make a profit because of how you are organized and how you can create your product or service why that means that you can generate a profit and grow your business returns. That's what this is about, the business story. Here in the beginning in the business description, you can also present your longer term vision, what might be some future product lines, some expansion, that sort of thing. Again, you don't want to go into too much detail because really what's important is the present, <clears throat> the current view, what you're going to do in the very short term, the things that you can measure and see if you're going to succeed. But it's also an opportunity to say, if you're opening a restaurant, you can say that your hope is that you could open a second or a third restaurant in the area and then perhaps expand into the south or the southwest or the west coast or whatever it is that you're thinking about. Um, you don't really dwell on that through the rest of your plan, uh, although it might show up a little bit in your markets as you have your out year market forecasts or in your financials. But here in the beginning, you can lay out how you are thinking big. That's part of uh, the business plan and the company description. You're not doing this just for small potatoes. You're doing this because you have a, a larger view of the world. So you talk about your growth opportunities and your growth strategy and some of your key company objectives. This uh, section of the plan, maybe one or two pages, um, describes for the reader what, they, what the opportunity they're getting into might offer to them now in the present in the context of, of the, a little bit of history, but also what it might mean for them in the next three to five years in terms of delivering some new opportunity or num, new, some new business value. That's what the company description is about. And again, like every other section, you want to frame it so that when someone reads it, they are excited to go on to the next section and learn more about products and services that this company is going to offer now and what the plans are for them. And that's what we'll talk about in our next lecture. We'll see you there.